It's over. The campaign to oust MLA Ida Chong has failed. Recall organizers in Oak Bay Gordon Head admitted today what everybody else has suspected for a couple of weeks now. They needed more than 15,000 signatures on the recall petition to force a by-election, but they didn't even come close. Today they revealed they are more than 6,000 names short. They missed it by a mile, and tonight the Oak Bay failure raises serious questions about whether recall anywhere else will succeed. A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has our top story. Who lives in Fort St. John? Well, we Stick a fork in this thing. It's done. This morning, volunteers who spent 60 days gathering signatures to recall MLA Ida Chong revealed they didn't even come close. 15,368, a number I'm sure that is ingrained in all of your, your uh, consciousness, is the number uh, that, of signatures that we had to uh, collect if we were going to recall Ida Chong. 8,818 is the number of signatures which we will be submitting to Elections BC. A bitter end to a campaign that began with so much hoopla. Organizers had lots of reasons for the failure. The number of people who left the community over the Christmas break who we were not able to reach. Um, and of course, I, as I repeat, repeat over and over again, access to people in apartments, condominiums, and seniors facilities. They also blamed the weather, canvasser fatigue, civil servants allegedly afraid to sign, media coverage, and students moving out of the riding. There was one explanation they wouldn't accept. And isn't this just the fact that people in this constituency did not want to recall Ida Chong? I, I really don't know. And the poor me, uh, I'm just an innocent MLA, why are you targeting me? Did, did that have resonance with some people? I think probably it did. In reality, Chong pushed back hard, assembling a war room, running radio ads. Her liberal government could not risk the snowball effect of losing this first fight with more recall attempts on the horizon. You know, anything could have been possible. It is important to take this seriously and it is important to have factual information out there. Will the failure in Oak Bay Gordon Head also knock the wind out of current recall attempts underway in Comox and Kamloops? Organizers are staying brave. Well, what we're finding is actually momentum is starting to build now for recall. Population base. And they have no intention of quitting now. So um, I think if we get the right riding with the right circumstances surrounding it and we've got the momentum going, we can make it happen. Ah, but Oak Bay Gordon Head was supposed to be the right riding. The first one chosen because Chong was perceived to be weak. As to the right circumstances, well, things have changed since a former charismatic premier rode back into politics on a wave of HST backlash last spring. The current premier who brought in the unpopular tax is on his way out, and a binding HST referendum will go ahead. Nonetheless, recall organizers at Oak Bay Gordon Head say they'll recall their failed campaign fondly. We take a lot of positives away from this campaign. Each one of us has learned so much. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. Shachi Curl joins us now with more. Shachi, there's never been a successful recall attempt in the province's history. Is the failure here more about the system than the voters? Well, that is certainly an issue that came up today, Hudson. The time period, 60 days, the threshold, 40% of the voters list in the riding, and the fact that names on these petitions are made public by Elections BC, all reasons the proponents said this thing failed. But the cry for reform on recall isn't limited to just his side. As early as a couple of weeks ago, uh, Liberal leadership candidate Kevin Falcon also made the case for overhauling recall laws. Now in the 1990s, he tried while in opposition to unsuccessfully recall a bunch of NDP MLAs. But at the end of the day, as we saw with the HST, if uh, voters are motivated to do something as they were with the petition in the referendum, they will. All right. Chachi, thank you. You're welcome.